So I've finished working on the box for my LED sign. And what I've done is put some stain on the frame that surrounds my matrices. I then put a couple coats of clear polyurethane on there. On the remainder of the box, I've spray painted it black. I also created a couple aluminum pieces. On each of the ends, there's an aluminum piece spray painted black. This one has a 2.1 millimeter jack so that I can put in a wall adapter and bypass the battery that would be inside if I want to power it externally. There is the large back plate aluminum that has the one switch for right now. That's my reset switch going to my Arduino that's inside my homemade Arduino board. On the other end, another aluminum piece painted black, but this one has my main power switch mounted on it. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Let me zoom in a little bit better so you can see better. So what I have here then is my homemade Arduino board, custom board. It has the built-in voltage regulator, connections for the LED matrix, and connection to any external sensors. And then for right now, powered by a 9-volt battery. This 9-volt battery is temporary. What I have that's going to be a permanent part of this is there is a piece of Velcro here. And I have a 6-cell, six 6AA six cell battery holder. And it has on the end of it a 9-volt battery snap connection. So that simply fastens into that piece of Velcro, replacing the 9-volt battery with that. But it was a little bit easier to show you the inside with that 9-volt battery rather than the battery pack. Connected to my homemade Arduino board are a number of sensors. There's the one that goes to my reset switch that's on that back panel for resetting the Arduino. There's a couple others that are for right now are simply stored inside. I'm going to probably add some additional ones and figure out exactly where on the back and or in the front how I want to mount these. Another push button, uh, planning on that being used to display different messages. So rather than have to reprogram it, have some messages built in and simply go into a configuration mode using my push buttons to get to those different messages. I have my infrared receiver so that I can control this using an infrared remote like that which is used with the TV. And then I got room to add, whether I add analog or digital, I got room to add additional sensors using my homemade board. What's also really nice is this homemade board is simply held in with a couple pieces of wood that have a notch in them. So that whole board can easily slide out if for some reason I want to update something on there, add something, repair something. It's very easy to take out and do that with. So let me go ahead and just quickly put things back together here and I'll turn it over then and power it on. So as I have it programmed right now, it's simply going to go into a configuration mode when I turn it on and then be looking for a password. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. So it says configuration mode, waiting for password. So what I did last was simply used a TV remote looking for a certain number uh, code to be entered in, a PIN number in a sense, before going on to the rest of the configuration. So this is where I'm, I've left off in terms of this software and programming the Arduino. My intent is I could really finish this project up completely in some sense. I could display whatever message on here. The, the hardware, the box of this is all done, but I don't really see any project being ever completely done. And that's sort of still going to be my intent here. I want to do some more sophisticated things with my display now that I've got the, the box done. So I'll continue to change some of the things on here, but it's going to be more software related. Well, I hope you liked this build and I uh, hope it was interesting and informative. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.